Ascension is needed to have great success. All the people who have achieved greatness like Steve Jobs, Thomas Edison were able to make a huge jump to ascend to a higher world. Ken Honda discovered this when he was young and kept on making big jumps in his life. He started as a business consultant and then an investor and semi-retired at the age of 29. Then he got the vision of becoming an author and now he has sold over 8 million copies around the world and is a best-selling author. These huge jumps are called ascension. Ascension is to change the world we live. For example, there are people who live in a boring world. There are people who live in a world doing what they love and are successful. There are also people who live in a world that are tremendously successful and wealthy. All these people live in a different world and don't associate with each other. We can't hear the radio with the wrong frequency. We humans are sending our own frequency. We can never tune in and resonate with someone with the wrong frequency just like a radio. Ascension won't happen just by working diligently. If you keep on using the same frequency, you will never be able to connect to the new world. We need to drop our old frequency and switch to a new frequency and resonate with it. Ken Honda explains this as a rope or vine Tarzan used to swing. You need to swing your body and jump onto the next rope. Letting go of the old one to move on to the next one. Most of us are just swinging on the same rope without having the courage to jump. So how can we do ascension? In order to jump, meeting with people is very important. To meet with people who have a higher frequency that you want to try to take that into yourself. They say your income is the average income of the people you hang around with. This is quite true. Just by moving the place where you live, you can change the environment and the people you hang around with. Where you're living is important. People who can ascend to a different world have one thing in common. They clearly know what they want in life. They know which type of frequency they need to resonate with. When they encounter the kind of information and people they want, they start studying intensively new concepts of what they never ever thought about before. With this, they start moving closer and closer to what they will accomplish. Letting go of old thoughts and adapting new ones dynamically and taking actions wisely. In our family's case, we recently changed the way we allow our kids to play video games and saw drastic changes. We've decided to let go of our old thoughts and started treating our kids applying a whole new concept. We were inspired by my colleague and the information in the internet and started the journey of ascension. My colleague's kids were excellent at school and were strong-willed. A role model of how you want kids to be. When I asked my colleague, what's the secret? Surprisingly enough, he told me that he never told his kids to study or put any restrictions on playing video games. Me and my wife couldn't understand how on earth can we grow our kids like that. We thought kids could never manage their time playing video games by themselves and parents need to always control it. But we've decided to let go of that thought at old frequency and replace it with a new concept. Referring to information in the internet and trying to apply it. The new concept is to let the kids play as much as they want. When kids still want to play, that means they're not ready to dive into studying. They will only start studying hard after they really feel enough of playing and satisfied. Ken Honda was saying the same kind of thing. When someone asked him that, I know what I have to do but I can't stop thinking about playing video games and concentrate on studying. His advice was simply play games as much as you want. I could go deeper on this topic but I would like to save this for another video. But when me and my wife started Ascension and changed our minds on how to treat our kids 180 degrees differently, our kids started to toughen up and grow strong. The first step of Ascension is to meet successful people who have different frequencies. Then to decide to go all in to get that frequency and gather information. And to take action to do everything necessary to apply those new concepts. We always feel worried and anxious when letting go of old thoughts. When that happens, visualize the new thoughts, the ideal future over and over again. If you have people around you that support you and cheer you up, this will help you make it to the new frequency faster. Within 6 months or a year, you'll start seeing the light out of the tunnel. Again, you need to let go of your old habits and thoughts to ascend, to jump to a higher world. Gather information around it. Do your own research of what I need to learn, where can I learn it, who can I learn it from. Ken Honda went to find mentors who are best-selling authors and those who are mentors of best-selling authors. We need to of course master the skills and knowledge to be prepared. No question about it. You can't jump on another rope when you don't have the skill and knowledge. You'll just fall down. 
But people who have a 9 to 5 job have a tendency to not put in the effort of finding a mentor. Living their life on the same rope. Is this really okay? Of course there is no right or wrong. But if you want to change, you need to learn a completely different rule from where you're living in right now. Just like Robert Kiyosaki learned from his rich dad about money and how the richer get richer, he decided to live his life in a whole new way. If you want to ascend to a new level, if you want to change your life, and reach out and find out what you're meant to put on this earth by maximizing your talent, we need to let go and adapt new thoughts and dive into a whole new world of excitement without hesitation. If you want to learn more about Ken Honda, go click on the link over here. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.